guys, what's going on? Scott Boards here, and this week I want to show you guys how to stray away from those pesky bearded split ends. Plus, I got something fun in the mail, so let's open her up, let's see what's inside. Let's jump ship, we're gonna dive right into it. Here we go! Hey, you smell that? Oh, I think I know what it is. Oh, I think it's a beard product. Now let's start from the beginning and where this topic came up. Now I have to plug something for this to happen. Now I usually stream two to three times a week either on YouTube Live or on Twitch. Now there are a few guys in the chat talking about this topic and this is a new subject for me. Now not to sound condescending or cocky, I don't have any split ends and I think this is due to how I manage and maintain my beard. And further looking into it, this is actually a big topic and a big problem that a lot of beardsmen have. There's actually a process that I usually do when I wash my hair and my beard. The reason why is I usually take two to three showers a day. Now you're probably asking Scott, why do you take three showers a day? Don't you think that's a little excessive? Well, the first thing is I train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So after training, I at least take one shower a day. Now on top of that, in the morning or in the afternoon, depending on the temperature that's outside, I usually sweat a lot, so I'd rather be clean than dirty. Now I bring up this scenario because I believe this is where a lot of beardsmen struggle, and that is the actual condition and moisturizing of our beard. Now the key word right there was conditioner, and that's because when we're taking our shower, a lot of guys just go straight for the shampoo, use maybe little to no conditioner, and get straight out right to the hair dryer. Now this is where I wanna say stop, don't do that anymore. We gotta switch up the norm. And that's why I brought up the number of showers I take. If I would've just shampooed my hair those three times with either little to no conditioner, my hair is gonna split, it's gonna fray, and it's gonna be super dry. It's the same as washing your hands with just regular dial soap with no moisturizer. After a while, or if you wash it too much, your hands are gonna crack, peel, or split and cut open. Now to offset those problems, we have to add moisturizer to either our hands by using lotion, or by using conditioner or moisturizer to our beard. Now even if you're taking one shower a day, we wanna use minimal shampoo. This is where I wanna flip the switch. Now there's a big notion that we have to use shampoo in our hair every day, and I wanna negate that myth. Now I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack that's saying, Scott, that is unhealthy, that is really disgusting, but to tell you the truth, that is the natural byproduct of our hair to produce oil to protect and hydrate our hair. And that's doing exactly what the conditioner is doing, it is preventing our hair from fraying, drying out, or cracking. Now, if you're like me, that takes two to three showers a day, I use maybe one application of shampoo during those three applications and the rest just conditioner. Now, this was a great day to do this because one, not only did we hit 10,000 subscribers, but I went on a awesome trip in a helicopter ride around Fresno. My beard was going all over the place. It was hot, it was dry. I'm just a hot mess, I'm sweating my pits off, so I thought, let me jump in the shower, I'm gonna throw in some conditioner, let's open up some beard product, that way we can bring it all together and have a great look. Because guys, that's all we want at the end of the day. We don't wanna have any problems or any issues. We wanna have a great looking beard, and by doing these little steps, if I can be a telltale sign of how good a beard can look, I'm telling you these tips will really work. So I'm gonna hop in the shower, maybe I'll throw in some B-roll, I'll come on back, and we'll see where we're at. Well, we made it, but just with a little bit of wetness still. And remember guys, we always wanna have a little bit of moisture left in our beards before we apply some product and finally finish drying it out. And actually, I left a lot of things extra wet. That way we can open up the package from you boys, the Bearded Bastards. So I got my package, got my knife. Let's open her up. All right, looks like there's a card. Let's check it out. Scott, this is our summer release, Bum Runner Black. Awesome, I like the name. Comes out June 1st, enjoy. All right, looks like we got a new release, comes out June 1st, I'm super stoked, and I'm already digging it, you guys. I love the bandana do-rag thing here. Let's open her up always for you guys. Oh, this is sick. I always love doing this for you guys. These are the best. I actually have a couple myself. Check that out, quadruple X. That is sick. And of course, I'm always digging the labeling from the Bearded Bastard. Just fun, always high quality stuff. Gotta love that wooden labeling. Always cool. Now here's the fun part. I have no clue what this smells like. I have, all I'm thinking right now is summer, uh, maybe the beach, maybe the ocean. I'm thinking maybe like the hot days. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh, here we go. 
Oh, oh wow. All right, I got it, I got it. Okay, I got it, I was close. I got that beach ocean smell. It's like that sandalwood, like you're walking down the pier. Got a little hint of that ocean wave. All right, let's put a little bit in the hand. Let's see if we can get some more aroma. And I'm always digging their oil, really thick, not watered down, always a high quality product. Okay, this is really interesting. I love doing these aroma smell tests because I get transported places. Right now, I'm, I'm like at my beach house. I'm staring out in the beach, you know, on, on the deck, uh, drinking a Corona. I love getting transported. I feel like I'm at that beach house. I'm watching the surfers out on the beach. Kelly Slater going out for the 10. It's off the Richter. I'm digging the smell, you guys. I feel like I'm in Hawaii and I just came back from a four week vacation. Go check them out, Quadruple X, Bum Runner Black. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, if you check out last week's video, I cut my hair and squared up my beard. And I mentioned to you guys that you should dry your hair and beard to about 80% ratio. And at that point, you should add your beard product and your hair product. So if you wanna add beard balm or beard oil or pomade or hair gel or mousse, this is now the time. And there's still a little bit of moisture left in my beard from the shower, same with my hair. Let's put in some product, let's dry her up. All right, let's put some pomade in. I don't need that much, it's just a little bit goes a long way. And that's it, you guys. As long as you're using the proper products and the proper tools, you're gonna have a great look. Like last week, I totally went for the Viking look and it looks like we're still sticking strong. And you also have to have confidence. It looks like this Viking look is here to stay and that's what I wanna to bring to you guys. It's always cool to try something new. And once again, I gotta give a shout out to the Bearded Bastards for letting me try out their Bum Runner Black. Remember guys, it comes out June 1st. Head on over there. All the stuff's down in the link in the description below. Have some fun. And before I sign off, I wanted to give you guys a huge thanks. We just hit that big 10,000 subscriber mark and it would not have happened if it weren't for you guys. So like always, like, subscribe, and favorite. Check me out on Twitter, check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitch, check me out on YouTube Live. I'm streaming at least three times a week. That way I can interact and chit chat with you guys. Love you like always, and I'll see you on the flip side. See ya!